hi guys welcome to the video number 353 in this video we are going to talk about the arrays and i'm going to actually give you a puzzle where we will have the duplicate values and uh, we would like to uh, fetch the you know the information from the duplicate values uh, one by one and of course we are going to actually make an array which will uh, use the if and the large functions so welcome to the channel welcome to the video number 353 my name is Ajay and I have started this channel two years back so now we are on the video number 353 if you're watching the channel for the first time then this channel is dedicated to those professionals and those want to learn Excel Excel VBA MS access and access VBA right you can quickly go to the playlist and uh, we have 43 different playlists as you can see on your screen almost every topic i have the videos which covers your basic levels as well as the intermediate and advanced levels right now, if i just scroll it down you would see here tons of you know the different different videos under each playlist so uh, before i start with the uh, arrays you know this is going to be the excel arrays not the excel vb arrays please remember that so what you need to do is you need to first understand the basic concept so what you can do is you can write here array and search on my playlist if you want to find that series which you know we have started this is excel vp and this is the excel arrays just click here and you would see here different threading videos on the arrays if you know arrays very well uh, i mean good to go you can watch any video just in case if you do not know what you can do is first thing which you need to do is watch this video 334 which is on the understanding the arrays basic so in this video what we are going to do is uh, this is in front of you data a dummy data which I have prepared and this is what we need okay. now you can see here I have got here uh, you know Ajay uh, three times and uh, I want that when I make my formula let me just zoom it out and uh, yeah what we need is uh, I need the 44 here, I need the 77 here, and I, I need the 66 here. So basically, all the values of this lookup item, which is you know, AJ, I want here. Now there can be numerous ways of it. This is a video on the arrays, so we're going to talk about the arrays. Okay. Now otherwise, before I start with the arrays, guys, what would be your general approach? Maybe you can pause the video. You can try. You can see that if you can, if if you are able to get this, many of you would immediately say that I think the VLOOKUP is the good option. But VLOOKUP is not a good option uh, because VLOOKUP works doesn't work on the repetition. You have here so many, you know, lookup items. They they keep on repeating. So VLOOKUP always stops at 44 and returns you 44. If you drag it down. Maybe you can convert it into a unique value. I mean, there are, as I said, a lot of ways. But what I will do is in the arrays, uh, in the arrays, first of all, I'll tell you the background of this. What we'll do, we will find out that where exactly we have got the array, you know, this item Ajay. So I'm going to use the if function here. And I will say that if you are equals to Ajay, then let me capture this value, which is the marks, because this is what we need. And Otherwise, if you're not Ajay, then please keep the space. So when you press enter, you will you will drag this formula down. You get to see here different different you know all the values actually which are responding to this item, the lookup item Ajay. Now the point is, uh, you got here 44, 77, 66, but if, if in your answer you don't see them, you know sequence i mean there are a lot of spaces over here so what you can do is maybe here you can use a small function you can write a small function and you can use this table in this table i need the smallest number now to get the smallest number or uh, maybe you can write here one but i don't want to write here one because the moment i will drag the formula down i want to uh, you know for the second smallest number and then for the third smallest number so in order to get the one what i will do i will use the row function which is called the row a1 so what will happen when you drag this row one function in the downward direction you will have row a2 and then a3 actually you will be getting the row number which is one two three four if you do not know about the anything about the row function then row function is a function which if you select any cell and you press enter it returns the row number of that cell now i have selected a1 so that's why i'm going to see here a1 i've talked about this row the small and the large functions in one of my previous videos also where you can actually with the help of these you know, the functions you can even sort your data in the ascending or the descending order right so when you drag it drag this down what happens you get to see one two three four five six and so on because of this reference which changes from a1 to a2 and then a3 and you know 
is how you get the row number. So this is what we will do. I will keep my this table, you know, pleased here, and now I will drag this down. So what will happen eventually? We'll get to see all the values: 44, 67, 66, and 77 with no space. And for the errors, you can obviously write the if error as well. Now this is the approach which we have applied, you know, like generally you know this is how you write the function but how to actually convert this into an array this is what you need to learn today so arrays is do what when do we use the arrays when you actually want to take out the output from the multiple cells right now you know that if i use this for example if i just select this cell and i press enter you get to see here ajay right and if i just press equals to and i have to select the entire table and I press enter you will get the error why you get the error because you cannot use so many cells in one single cell trying to use so many cells here right arrays is a technique with the help of which you can actually you know merge all these values into a single cell so what you can do is if i just come here and instead of pressing the enter which is the normal way of you know executing the function in excel if you press ctrl shift enter what will happen the curly brackets will automatically be inserted in this and when you press f9 this is what you get to see here in the entire table. I have talked about this in my basic video. So the same concept, guys, I'm going to use here. What we will do, we will simply, you know, here we will write if I will say that instead of selecting the one single cell as you know I was selecting the column I if you remember, I'm going to select this the entire table. Why I'm actually selecting the entire table? Obviously, because we are going to use the all the values. All the table values we are going to compare ajay aman abc and then whatever we have you know with what with your lookup value which is this value which is h12 or maybe you can write in the quotes ajay it's all up to you right if you write in the quote ajay then every time if the lookup changes you will have to change the code if you give it a reference then whatever you write here will be you know, automatically uh, going to be considered by this array function so i can write this h12 let me freeze this and let me freeze the table as well so we are saying that wherever you get this h12 which is ajay in this table what we need to do is we need the corresponding array right same function which i have written here only difference is in the arrays you can take all the uh, cells uh, you can uh, in, a, in, a, in a single cell right you can use all the cells in a single cell but otherwise you use you, know, you do the comparison uh, with a single cell every time you write the function in, because we are talking about the array so this is how you can do now i'm saying that if your equals to ajay then please capture the corresponding array which obviously is g3 to g8 and g3 to g8 will hold the marks right so in the false i will write that i just need the space so guys when you press ctrl shift enter don't forget to uh, press the ctrl shift enter or to enter the ctrl shift enter uh, because that will you know make this formula an array formula if you look at this output let me go to the equals to sign and let me just press f9 you get to see 44 space space 77 66 and which makes a sense also isn't it because you have your 44 you have your 77 and you have your 66 and rest of the items are completely blank so this is that's why you know i see that i actually actually love to work on the arrays they are so beautiful guys right so you have your entire output in this table now if i just copy this and gonna put it somewhere else maybe so that you can see this so basically now this entire formula where you just see the 44 uh, and in order to see the rest of the values you need to go to the equals to sign and press f9 you know this is how we use the arrays right so this is the table now so this is the same table which you actually developed here also using the if function separately such an awkward way of doing it right because if you know the arrays obviously you would not like to use this kind of a stuff i mean create the separate functions and then you know uh, use the small function in the separate cell certainly not i can do everything in this particular formula only now what i need in this array this table which comprises 44 and 77 and 66 obviously i will not count the spaces right because spaces are not going to be considered here they are not the numbers i will simply put the small function here now when you put the small function here what happens this array you know is going to ask you for the table now this entire function returns the table and you know the table, the values are 44 space space 77 space 66 so what you need to do is you just need to say that i need the smallest number out of this table the smallest number you can write here row function which is a1 as we were doing it earlier also so that's it if you're referencing 
a proper make sure that you have the dollar signs in the table and here in the h12 as well because so that when you move this function down this formula down h12 should not change to h13 because in h13 you don't have anything you do not have anything right so in this way if i press ctrl shift enter now and i'm not by the way keeping a1 beast and you must be knowing that right if you do not know let me tell you because when you drag it down row a1 will change to row a2 and then we will have the two because a2 actually is on the row number the row number of your know, this a2 cell is two so you have the second smallest number then so i press the ctrl shift enter the moment you press ctrl shift enter and you drag it down this is what you would see so i can further go ahead and drag this i mean just in case if you have more values for example if i just write here one more ajay see that data table automatically changes right it's like a programming i think there is a some maybe a code you have written but it is not that you know that right it is simply the error uh, error uh, uh, is right so i can write here if error as well that for any error what you what we need to do is we need to display the space here so that we shouldn't be able to you know we shouldn't see the errors because errors doesn't look good i just drag it down this is how your answer comes so if i just uh, let's say you know i i change this to maybe something else let's say so what i'm gonna do now you can see here that you know i'm changing the values are automatically changing so this is exactly your formula so to summarize what we did first of all you found that you know using the if condition that anywhere where your value is equals to j get the marks so you just use that function you said that if in this f3 to f8 table wherever you have this equals to h12 right to get that row number they get that marks from the e3 to g8 and that's how you would you know get to have this table where you have 44 space space and 77 66 and then what we did we simply said that now let us start extracting these numbers one by one using the small function so small function or first of all i need the smallest number which is the first smallest number because of this row a1 so i get to see here 44 when you drag it down you see that this row a2 begins right so now it is going to check in the same variable the second smallest number and the second second smallest number will be 66 right and then so on right but anyways i mean this is previous data this is, i have actually did some changes okay that's why you know this is looking different and the concept remains the same the good point is if i change this to uh, let's say i write here uh wink it for example you can see here i get the 77 here if i change this to wink it i get to see here automatically the 77 so we have the 66 we have the 77 okay. if you want to put it in the different order we want to change the highest to the smallest you want to go what you need to do is just use the large function now large function means that first of all it will capture the highest value and then then you know second highest value and then the third highest value and fourth highest value so you will have your 77 66 so the data will be sorted now in the descending order so if i just get here one move and kit one move and kit you see that it's all sorted in the descending order because of this large function right so i hope uh, this will further enhance your skills on the arrays and uh, you can watch all those i think that there are like nine ten videos on this channel in videos actually you can watch all these videos and can be a very much you know efficient in using the arrays if you watch all these videos one by one anyways um as you always know that there's no limit to the excel uh we are on the video number 354 uh so we uh you know you keep on writing me the emails and i keep on uploading the videos so naturally as the time you know passes we will have some more videos on the address as well so there is no limit to the learning i will be back very soon with the, some another exciting stuff guys and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching